Good morning, you guys. Today is 11 DPO, or it could be 9 DPO. I'm not quite sure, but I have a lot I would like to share with you guys. Before I start sharing what's been going on, let's dip all these pregnancy tests so they can start loading. This is the easy at home ovulation test. This is the easy at home pregnancy test. This is the prove pregnancy test. This is the Frida pregnancy test. So this is the clear blue early detection test. This is the first response. Now that I have dipped all the tests, I'm going to wait about three minutes before I start to look at any of the tests. But I want to kind of tell you guys some, I guess, like symptoms or things that I have been feeling over the last 24 hours, I guess, since I was sitting here last in front of you. But I also need to tell you guys that my oldest is awake. He is playing in this room right next to me. So you will probably hear him. I apologize. He decided to wake up super early this morning. And I usually try and get up and film these before they get up if my husband is not home in the morning but he like woke the whole house up this morning. Well, not the youngest one, thankfully. So the youngest one is still sleeping. So, so I'm trying to film this before the youngest one wakes up. I first want to share with you guys my temperature chart. I know I told you guys yesterday that my temperature had dipped a little bit and that made me concerned because the day before that I had a little bit of cramping. So I was thinking, oh man, is my period going to start? What's going on? And then my temperature had like dipped a little bit. And then today oh, I checked my temperature again and it is actually back up again. So thankfully my temperature is back up. So I don't think I am going to start my period yet. So I'm like holding on to hope that maybe I actually am closer to 9 DPO and not actually 11 DPO and maybe my temperature charts are more accurate than the Mira app since I had that very weird double peak LH on my chart this cycle I think that my hormones did something weird and maybe it made me ovulate later than I had expected now let's talk about pregnancy symptoms yesterday during our afternoon family walk that we normally take I had a really hard time because I could smell like this really really gross smell when we were out on our walk and I don't know if it's because we have had like almost like a drought like no rain and then the last few days it has been raining like crazy so I don't know if it's like bringing out something I'm not sure but my husband was like you're crazy I don't smell anything and I was like, this is gross. I can't be outside walking right now. And it was just like the weirdest thing. And my husband was looking at me like, lady, you, something's wrong with your nose. <laughs> I do have a sensitive nose, but it was like making me feel sick walking outside with whatever that was like smelling. I, I don't know what it was, but I, I did not like it at all. All right, it's been about three minutes. Let's look at these tests. We will start with the ovulation test and then we will move on to the pregnancy test. Oh man, that looks very, very light. It still needs to load a little bit longer, so it might get a little bit darker, but that is very, very light, unfortunately. Okay, let's look at 
the pregnancy easy at home test. The lighting is so bad in here because it's so dark out today. But I'm just going to say that's negative. And then on the prove test. Yeah, I think that one is negative two. Okay, so this is the Frida fertility test. Yeah, I think that one's negative two. Hmm. Okay, the clear blue, this is a pink dye test. Yes, that looks negative. And then last, the clear blue first response test. Now, yesterday when I took this test, I could see a line and I'm not sure if you guys could see it in the photo, but I could see a line on this test. And then I waited for a while and I went back and I looked at the test again and then the line was gone which i've heard people who got very very faint lines have like seen a line on a first response and then when it dries all the way it kind of like fades the line fades and since it faded away and it didn't like stay even afterwards and like get darker or something i'm hoping that it's a real line and not like an indent because you think an indent you would be able to see after it dried and it was there for longer so I'm really, really hoping that this has a line today. I'm really, really, really hoping. I still feel like I see that like super, super faint line on here, but if it was a real line, it should be darker. It should not just stay the same color. Man. This really sucks. Every cycle that I take a pregnancy test, I want to be pregnant, obviously. But just something about turning 30 and trying to conceive in my 30s just like feels a little extra heavy. And I know plenty of people get pregnant in their 30s and have healthy pregnancies. But I just, it just makes me nervous because if we're 11 DPO today, or even if I'm nine DPO today, I would expect to see something. And the fact that I don't makes me a little concerned that I am out this cycle. And I just, <sighs> yeah, I'm sad. I don't know if I'm gonna test anymore. This might be 
like the last day I take a test. And then if my period doesn't show up, then maybe I will take another test with you guys just in case. And then maybe we can try and pinpoint when I actually did ovulate. If I did, there might just be a chance that because of everything that happened, that it wasn't a good ovulation or it wasn't a good egg. My progesterone has to be increasing because I had the PDG go up and then my temperatures have also been elevated above my baseline. So I feel like I did ovulate, but with my history and everything that's gone on, there's a chance that I ovulated, but the egg that I ovulated wasn't a healthy or mature egg or an egg that might not be suitable to develop into life, unfortunately. I just have to come to the realization that it's okay to go on to a next cycle. And I'm probably gonna order more of those Mira ones just so we could track ovulation some more. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. If I wanna keep tracking with Mira or if I want to use something different to track, I'm, I'm not sure. I would love to do a video for you guys with how to use different things to track for ovulation because I know many of you don't want to purchase Mira just because it's so expensive. So maybe I'll do a how to track ovulation with the easy at home uh, ovulation kit because it is a lot cheaper it's a lot easier for many of you to purchase so maybe I will do that this next cycle and share with you guys how to use something like easy at home I appreciate you all watching especially if you made it to the end of this video and I want to say thank you for all of your kind and reassuring comments I appreciate every single one of them and I will see you guys in my next video.